What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you what I've been doing to get stronger and it's been working out really well and particularly with the small muscle groups and things like the shoulders and the arms, okay? Um, to continue to get stronger you have to do one of certain things. Either you have to keep on increasing your weight, increasing your sets that you're doing, or increasing the repetitions, okay? What I've been doing recently is working out really well for me is I've been increasing the weight as well as the repetitions, okay? Not necessarily at the same time, but I'm going to show you what I mean here, okay? Uh, the example I'm going to use is what I've been doing in my latest workout program with the standing barbell military press, which is you know, simply with the barbell. You know, I'm pushing it in front, of my, in front of my head, not behind, okay? So uh, let me show you what I have here. I broke out my whiteboard. Anyone who's watched it for a while knew I was heavily dependent on this in the past and I uh, haven't used it recently, but it seems like a good time to do it because first off, I'm too lazy to put up like any type of PowerPoint presentation up here. And plus also, you know, everyone hates PowerPoints because they suck to look at. So, all right, let me show you here, guys. Standing military. I like to do six day repetitions, okay? This is just me, guys. Listen, I've been lifting a long time. That's kind of low weight for something that's, that's really, uh, that's a shoulder exercise. I'm sorry, that's really low repetitions um, for, for uh, someone that may be new to lifting weights, okay? Because it's a lot on the shoulder joints. Um, I've been lifting for a long time. I don't have a problem with it, uh, but if you're new to lifting, you know, first year or so, stick to the eight to 12 repetitions, but I just wanted to use me and what I've been doing recently as an example here. So check it out. Week one of the program I'm on, um, what I did, I did 135 pounds for six, I was able to get six repetitions, okay? And you know, I, I do three sets. Um, I didn't mark the sets here, but okay, so six reps. So I fell within the six day reps. So what do I want to do to continue to get better, right? Did I add weight? No, if I added weight, I probably would have only been down, I'd probably been down to five repetitions, right? And that's not my six to eight repetition range I want to be in. Uh, because less than six for me is a lot of my shoulders at that point too. So, especially someone that's had shoulder problems in the past. And, and by the way, don't laugh at my weights, okay? I've had shoulder problems. If, if you think, if you're so much stronger than me, great. You know, don't give me shit. All right, so what I do though, here we go. Week two, I did the same weight, 135 pounds, but then I went to... I did it for seven reps. I was one rep stronger. I already, I already made gain, right? Cool. In one week's time. Week three, what I did, I just kept the weight the same, still 135, but I was actually able to get 7.5 repetitions. And guys, I do document this, and I, and I totally encourage you to do the same. All right, it makes it so, it's so helpful to keep a gauge on where you're at and make sure you're always improving, okay? So document it, write it down. It just takes a second, especially after you have your program already written out. All you have to do is add you know, the weights and the repetitions. Ah, oh, so easy. Okay, so 7.5, I got it. Week four, same weight, man. So the whole month of 135, but I was able to get eight repetitions. All right, that is the upper echelon of my repetition of the uh, where I wanna be in my six to eight. So then, what did I do? Week five, that is when I went up in weight, okay? And I've continued to go on since here. I've been doing this workout program for some time now. All right, so week five, 140 pounds, and I was able to get seven reps, okay? So look, that's, that's a five pound difference in just in uh, three weeks. So that's, that's pretty cool, guys. Um, so this, listen, this is, it's kind of a combination. I, I only move up the weight when my body's ready and to make sure I fall into the rep range that I'm hoping to be in, okay? And guys, I've been seeing, listen, I've been seeing great results. I'm not young anymore. I really am kind of past my prime and strength. So whatever. Hey, but I'm still making gains and I'm, I can only be the best I can be right now in this moment. So, and I am, and I'm really excited. And every time, even though I do the same workouts pretty much every week, I'm always improving, so that keeps me motivated, okay? Seeing those weights go up, that's, that is, I, I don't get bored ever, okay? As long as I keep on progressing. So, guys, check this out. Again, particularly with the small muscle groups, I think it's a really great way to do it because a lot of times, let's face it, you're doing something like bicep curl, you can't just increase, like, you know, the, the dumbbells are five pounds apart, right? It's typically at every gym it's very difficult to continue to increase just the weight every week to progress. You gotta keep track of the repetitions. That is helpful. Make sure you fall within your range. When you hit the upper echelon of your range, that is when you go up in weight, okay? Guys, 
Thanks for watching, much appreciated, and if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that, okay? We'll talk to you soon. Os.